So there are a lot of videos on the internet, even on YouTube, showing you how to add additional memory to your TV. But what they fail to tell you is that that happens in ideal situations. So I tried adding memory to my Sony TV right here, and I ran into some problems. And this video is, I'm gonna show you how to inst add the memory, or additional hard drive space, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm running out of memory on my TV right now. So if I try to install, say for example, MGM Plus, and I say install, it's gonna, it's gonna seem like it's installing, and at the end, it's gonna give you an error. So we're just gonna give it some time to install right there. It gives you that error. It doesn't even tell you that the memory is a problem. All right, what you're gonna need first thing. Oh, before I go to that, let me show you my memory. So I'll go over to settings here, and then you're gonna to go to all settings system and then you're going to go down to storage so right now you're saying that a, a total storage on this tv is 4.4 gigs with memory so cheap why is it only four gigs basically four gigs right and apps take up four gigs of it you could always go in and uninstall apps and then you'll be able to you, you'll get additional space so you can add a new app but why do that i want all my apps on my tv so right here if you go scroll down all I have left is 229 megabytes. Only a few apps will only use 229 megabytes. Plus you need some for swapping, swap, memory swap and all that. So that's nowhere near enough left over, right? So what you wanna do, you wanna use something like this. So you wanna use this. This is a SanDisk. Um, this one is a 32 gigs, it's a 32 gig flash drive. So it's a 32 gig flash drive right here, USB 3.0. I'm gonna be plugging this on the back of my TV. Come to the back of your TV, and if you look here, right here, you have two USB ports. This is a USB 2.0, this is a USB 3. I would so just use this USB 3, especially if I have a USB 3 flash drive like I do here, blue, and there's blue right there. So all you have to do is plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in right here. So there, it's plugged in right now. So now we have to go back to the TV to get this set up. So now that the flash drive is connected to the TV, if you look up in the upper right hand, you saw that um, external drive connected, USB external drive connected, it just popped up. And if you go down here now, you'll see it right here, Sand Sandisk Ultra. It's really a Sandisk Ultra drive. So you can now format this drive. So if you went back to the home page, for example, you can, I'm gonna show you how to get back here from the home page again. So you go to home and you're gonna come back over here. S settings. Yeah, and see how slow that is moving now because I'm running out of space. So it, it lags a bit now. And go back to system, then storage. And then here, just back to the same page, sign this ultra. Now what you wanna do is go over to the right and erase and format as device storage. Do this at your own risk. This works for me. Don't know if it's gonna work for you, but do this at your own risk. So erase and format, I hit format. Depend on the size of your storage, this will take a while. So mine is 32 gig, it took about four to five seconds, so just be patient okay so it's finished formatting now and we have this screen up right here now move data to usb drive okay this you'll think that yeah it will work right away right here because that's what a lot of them will show you that it will right just hit move all right i'm gonna hit move now and it failed if you see the pop-up at the bottom i'll pause it to show you but at the bottom it failed so if i go back to the disk drive and i'm going to show you again here, um, migrate data to the storage. I'm gonna try it again. Just look at the lower right hand corner, the bottom of the screen, it's gonna fail. Could that migrate to Sandisk Drive? There, there are a number of issues that cause that. I'm gonna go back to what is going back to them. So let's go, for example, back. So what I want you to pay attention to right here is storage right here. This is one of the problems. It's using up so the apps are using four gigs right here, and we only have 230, so this is one of the problems. So the other problem is, 
you will have to go up to about so you have to tell it to allow the apps to be moved to storage so to do this you have to click about then scroll down and so right here android tv os build you're going to click on this seven times so if you pay attention to this just be, just beside it it's going to tell you how many clicks you have left so i'm going to do seven and i'm going to try to get into the developer options so one two three four five see and you're now a developer so to use developer options you have to go back and then you scroll down to developer options select developer options and you're going to scroll down you're looking for see how you have debugging right here you're going to keep going down until you see apps so just keep moving down or scroll up or down which which, which is this just keep scrolling and apps right here this is where, where, where you want to be and you're going to go down to right here force allow apps on external this is what you want to be turned on so you turn this on and you go back and then storage go back up to storage so that was one of the issues i was having but i ran into another one so if you come and say for example youtube no let, let's not use youtube so if you come to apps see all apps and try to move say not geo so the storage used and then you get the option now to move it from the internal because right now it's on the internal using 337 megabytes to the external sandisk drive so let's try to move it and see what happens so i'm going to select it not enough storage space see that error there again they don't tell you this so you think that oh something's wrong with your tv you need a new tv or whatever that's not the, it's fine i'm going to show you how to fix that issue also so go back and what you need really is uh, more space here right here more free, free space right here you need to get a little bit more free space so see cache data here that will help you so you can always go here and clear cache data um, I don't want to clear for all apps so I'm gonna to go to a like specific apps and do it so let's go back to well we can do it from here too. let's go to apps and then let's choose an app so let's go to history channel for example select it come down clear cache and then okay so what I'm really doing is giving myself more free space right so if i go back to um storage right here it's now 259 so let's try this at 259 now so go back and so we're going to go back to apps see all apps and let's try to move ESPN, for example. Storage used. Move again. And now it's going to be moved because I have enough space now to move it. So it's trying to move it. It just moved it. So if we go back to storage now, let's go back to storage. You'll see that the storage, the storage use went down. See, it lost at 3.9 gigs. But if you look at your USB drive, now see, available is now 315. You look at your USB drive, you should see apps 86 megs. So ESPN was moved. And now you can go to any app. So I'll go back to apps. So I'm going to use move AMC. So all you have to do is select AMC, select storage used, move to send this drive. And it's going to move it so that's what i did to solve my issue and it's not showing that storage used is on the sandisk drive not on the internal storage anymore so if i go to say youtube it's going to show storage used is on the internal storage i'm not going to move youtube if one of the apps that i consider more important to me um but again if you want to move any other app it's that easy just select the app discover plus storage used and just move it to that as you notice the sandis drive the um, amount of space available keep dropping as you add more um, apps to it so if you go to the home page you can now go to apps and say let's try to install plex for example you should be able to install that um, 
app right now, no problems. All right, so Plex was installed, no problems. Um, let's go back to storage again. So if you look at it at storage again, no, let's go back to apps, sorry. Let's, if we go back to apps, let's look for Plex. So see all apps. Plex, storage used on the USB sand disk drive. Now every app you install will now be installed on the sand disk drive. So you cannot remove your drive because if you remove your drive, the apps won't work. You're gonna have a problem. So if I open Plex, it opens. There. This solved all my problems. If you have any other problems, let's hear it in the comment. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching.